In this step-by-step -step guide, you'll learn how to use Langchain, Autogen, Retrieval Augmented Generation, RAG, and Function Calls to build a super AI chatbot for you guys watching over my shoulder. Every step of the way, this video is going to be hugely valuable to anyone who is new to Autogen, Langchain, and Function Call and wants to very quickly wrap their head around artificial intelligence space, how to build and explain the code, you are going to see the end result, which I was able to create the code and how you guys can take the exact same code and use for your personal project. Definitely stay tuned throughout the end of this video. If you guys haven't followed me, I highly recommend that you do so, so you can stay up to date with the latest AI news. Lastly, make sure you guys subscribe, turn the notification, bell like this video and check out previous videos because there is a lot of content that you will definitely benefit from. So that thought, let's get right back into the video. For those who may not be as familiar with technical details, let me provide a bit of background to make things easier to understand. What is Langchain? Langchain is an open source library that provides developers with the tools to build LM applications powered by large language models, LLMs, such as OpenAI or Hugging Face. This allows you to build dynamic data responsive applications that harness the most recent breakthroughs in natural language processing. What is Autogen? Autogen is not just a tool, it's the future of collaborative AI, where multiple agents come together to transform ideas into reality and where AI agents unite, innovate and elevate. What is different between Autogen and Langchain? Put simply, Autogen and Langchain are both frameworks for developing LLM-driven applications. However, there are some key differences between the two. Autogen is a multi-agent framework, while Langchain is a single-agent framework. Autogen is more focused on code generation, while Langchain is more focused on general-purpose NLP tasks. What is Retrieval Augmented Generation? Retrieval Augmented Generation is an AI framework that retrieves data from external sources of knowledge to improve the quality of responses. It ensures accuracy through techniques like vector similarity search and real-time updates to external datasets. Let's start coding. We're going to start installing the necessary requirements. Assuming you have created a new Python project and set up a virtual environment, run the command. Then let's import the required dependencies. We set up the list to Autogen. We create the config list as follows. Config list is a list containing configuration settings for the model you intend to use. Seed, we set the seed to 42 for caching purposes. With this configuration, we are ready to use AI agents with Autogen. In this snippet, we upload a PDF file and process it. PyPDF2 is used to read the PDF file text. Splitter from Langchain is used to split the text into chunks. OpenAI Embeddings is used for embedding the PDF file. Then, Fice is used to create a vector store. Vice is used to convert the text chunks into vector embeddings. These vectors can then be used for various applications like similarity search. Once the database has been created, we can then query it. We are going to make use of the conversational retrieval chain from Langchain to connect our similarity search to the prompt's user input and the we call conversation buffer. Memory is a simple memory buffer that stores the history of the conversation. Autogen Agents supports function calling for OpenAI models, but we need to specify the function using the following snippet. Let's create an automated assistant agent named Assistant with specific configurations. The assistant is designed to interact with users and provide accurate responses. This allows the assistant to read a PDF and generate LLM, an accurate answer. User proxy agents are the types of AI agents that work on behalf of the user. The implementation is typical, but it includes a unique feature, the function deech map parameter. This parameter is used to link the configuration for function calls with the actual functions themselves, ensuring seamless integration and operation. Once the agents are set up, the script starts a conversation between the user and the chatbot. This is done by calling the initiate chat method on the user proxy object. The initiate chat method requires two parameters, the assistant instance, which acts as the chatbot, 
and a text message that outlines the task to be discussed. The result looks like this. In this video, we explained how I use Autogen, Langchain, Function Call and Retrieval Augmented Generation to create a super AI chatbot. When these components are combined, the responses will be significantly more powerful and versatile. It would be capable of handling complex tasks more efficiently, generating more relevant and context-aware content, and accessing a wider range of information to inform its responses. I will leave all these links in the description below so that you can easily access them. It's a great read and it'll give you a lot more understanding as to how they basically accomplish this. So with that thought, I genuinely hope you found it informative and valuable. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing for more content. Like this, don't forget to click the notification bell so you never miss an update from us. If you have any questions or thoughts, drop them in the comments below. I always love hearing from you until next time. Stay curious and keep learning.